Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more trail makers. We've got a super awesome announcement. Um, pedal to the metal 1.9. Uh, the devs just shot me over a copy of the key for beta testing and I'm super excited to try this out. Uh, so yeah, this is beta. Uh, so things might be different. Things might change. Things might not work exactly as they intended to. Uh, so let's read what we've got here. Impactful changes. We have tweaked the way impact damage works to make structures a bit more sturdy when colliding with the environment. Weapon damage has not changed. Uh, new flat tarmac track. We have added a new long flat tarmac track to race island. Go put your name on the leaderboard uh, That'll be nice. You have to worry about all those bumps and stuff. Uh, it should be more uh, F1 style Logical additions for the experimental trail makers We have added a heap of new logic blocks giving you opportunity to nerd out even harder with your creations Blocks we've added 14 new blocks to your game including logic uh, So the logic is uh, part of that 14 like new rounder corner wedges that we know you'll love so much nice auto braking and passenger seat controls Vehicles now auto brake and let you park on slopes and passenger seats have become much easier with a simple toggle to turn off all controls on a seat uh, You can read the full release on play Trailmakers.com slash news awesome. Well, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's get to see what we got going on here guys all right, so here we are on the racing map and it's right down. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Look at it, you guys. Hold up, let's go to the, oh my gosh, look at this thing. This thing is huge. Okay, let's teleport over there. Nice, it is a nice flat track. Look at this. Okay, let's get a nice aerial view of this thing. Whoa, lots of turns, lots of turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tons of turns around that corner. Oh man, this is gonna be a cool track to try to race around. Now they said it's, uh, okay, I was gonna say it, there, it was a flat track, but I was like, but this is, this is an incline here, but this is just an incline to get up to a helipad which is kind of cool uh so we do have the ability for a helipad over here so i guess you could bring in a uh tv helicopter or something like that to watch what's going on this is pretty cool uh, i like this this is a really cool little map okay so let's jump in let's get down here oh we got even little little pit areas this is cool all right let's just take the first one here and let's jump into build mode all right so we got a lot of new parts here uh let's see first new part is going to be a car seat and a racing seat what what are these Okay, so we've got a couple new seats here to check out. Awesome, so this is like a low down F1 style seat and then we've just got a regular racing seat. That's cool, let's get this off of there. That's really cool. Um, let's just spawn this in, uh, cancel, let's get rid of this. I wanna see how we sit in this seat. Oh, that's nice and laid back, that's gonna look good. There's gonna be some cool vehicles with this right here, for sure, definitely some cool vehicles. Uh, let's check out what else we got here. There's a lot of stuff. So in the frames, we've got a bunch of new pieces. Oh, we've got fender pieces, medium fenders, large fenders and then what are these hoods oh these are awesome looking look at these these are super cool there's gonna be some, some super cool designs with some of this and some of these hoods ah i love these these are really nice these are really nice i love it even for like uh rear rear sections of vehicles and maybe even undersides of boats and things these are going to come in real nice and i guarantee a bunch of you guys are not going to use these for wheel wells you're going to come up with some other uses for this i think it'll be super cool to see oh there's a lot of cool parts in here this is cool this is cool what else do we got mechanics okay we've got a large suspension is that i think that's new i think i just rolled over that and that's new is there anything else in here that we uh uh, we're not looking at racing hinge okay so that's for making like an f1 car oh there's so many new parts this is so cool this is so cool this is gonna make vehicles look super awesome uh lift and drag oh man i hate that i rolled over it like this so we've got a new front spoiler let's get rid of all of this we've got a new front wing oh that is so sick that is awesome looking that is so good looking and we've got another supercar spoiler Ooh, ooh, is this another we only have the, the right the regular spoiler right is that a new one that's a new one as well oh man there's gonna be some awesome vehicles some awesome vehicles made with some of the stuff uh and what's left we've got logic uh let's see there's a new piece here round pop-up car light wait what a pop-up light uh, i guess we're gonna need a seat for this let's use our new seat uh let's do something like this and how does this work uh configure toggle okay so we just put a uh, a button on this so the one and then spawn oh my gosh that is awesome 
Look at the, let's see if we can get closer to it. Look at the pop-up lights. That is amazing. That is super cool. Oh man, they've given us so many cool new parts here this time. Okay, what else do we got? What else do we got? Did I, did I get everything? Uh, we were back in Logic. No, we were in Gadgets. Nothing else there. And then Logic, we've got, should be some more stuff in here. The Arithmic Logic Gate, Gravity Sensor, Accumulator, Number Display, and Hue Light Panel. Light that changes depending on the amount of input provided. Wait, what? Okay, let's put this somewhere that we can actually see it. So we'll get rid of this, delete. I am curious about this. Are these RGB lights? Is that what this is? One, one, one. Okay, those are just red lights. I'm not sure I understand the, the meaning of this. A light that changes depending on the amount of input provided. Hue changes for positive input. Okay, so maybe, okay, I was just giving it a straight one signal. Maybe let's give it like a W. Let's try that. No, am I reading this wrong? Light that changes depending on the amount of input provided. Hue changes for positive input. Grayscale colors are used for negative input. Mm, I might be doing this wrong. I might be doing this wrong. Go advanced, we've got everything. Do I need to paint it different? Orange and blue on one side, maybe? Does that do it? Um, No, so I'm not sure about this block. If you guys understand this block, let me know. Light that changes depending on the amount of input provided. So I figured, you know, giving it a half half throttle with uh, with WS would probably give it a little bit better. So I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's more controller sensitive than, uh, you know what, let's try controller. Let's try controller. Oh yeah, okay, so it's a lot better with controller. You can see you're able to give it different, a lot better values here with the controller and actually get that RGB effect. Look at that, Zoom. super cool. And then negatives aren't doing anything. They just said grayscale values. Okay, cool. Well, there you go, there's that. Super cool. Uh, let's jump over to, I guess here and see what it does. Let's see what kind of vehicle it gives us to uh, try and race around this thing. And maybe we can just try and race around this. Uh, no wheels on ground. Does that mean I have to build my own? You don't have a preset for me or do I have to go into the build options? Yes, here we go. Build it for me. Let's give this a go. Oops, I cheated. I cheated. Back it up. Back it up. And go. All right, hopefully I should do okay. Uh, I am rolling controller this time, so that should ooh, give me a better chance here. It already feels like it, the vehicles drive a lot better. Maybe that's just because it's a flatter surface. I don't know, but I really feel like I'm doing a lot, oh, a lot better. I am using controller as well instead of keyboard. Uh, that could be the difference as well, but it feels super smooth, you guys. It feels super smooth. I can't wait to do some of this in multiplayer. It's gonna be super awesome. Oh, where's the track? Where's the track? Got to get used to the track though. That's gonna be one thing is uh, got to get used to racing this track because uh, I know everybody else is gonna be racing it as well and getting used to it. All right, coming around. Oh, tight turn, tight turn. We made it, we made it, we made it. Man, this thing really steers. Man, it's, it's, it's really quick, really, really responsive. Uh, I'm guessing those new down forces are having a lot to play with that. Uh, come on, let's get around here. How many how many laps do I have to do? How many laps? I'm not sure. I'm just kind of just kind of doing the course here. First time around, um, trying not to wreck. Now we do have those new mechanics in as well, the new crash mechanics. So maybe oh, ooh, 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 okay. See, there we go. That seems like that would have really destroyed us in the the last way the game was. Uh, so I feel like we're a little more uh, a little tougher which is really nice. I do like that. Uh, that's gonna come in handy when it comes time to uh, trying to race these other guys. Uh, come on, we're, we're getting here, we're getting here. We're getting here. Ooh, come on, scooting around that. Man, this is a long track. I love it though, I love it. This is great. Okay, coming around, let's see. Ooh, stay off the walls, stay off the walls. Don't wanna do any of that. And come on, ooh, hard right turn, hard right turn, hard right turn. Punch it. And is this our finish line? Nice, okay. I am ranked seven. Let's see who else has done this already. Let's see who else has done this. All right, so I'm sure that's gonna change uh, over the next few days as more people get this. And yeah, uh, I'll take seventh. I'll take seventh right now for our first little run, not trying hard at all. 114, holy crap, that's awesome. But uh, did you guys see the damage? Oh, is the damage still there? 
the damage is not still there but man it made a huge difference in uh how we raced that was really really awesome uh i don't know if there's anything else that we can look at right now yeah i think that's it as far as the update goes uh it's coming out on the 15th of august so we are uh we are really close to getting this uh it should be really close uh yeah that's one week away you guys one week away and we'll have this so that's awesome all right so i guess you'll see a couple more videos from me and the guys on this but yeah stay tuned uh should be a bunch of multiplayer videos coming out with all the new mechanics new parts things like that so yeah guys stay tuned thanks so much for watching i appreciate you and we'll see you guys in the next one